Hey everyone, it's Joni Hollifield, your leadership coach. Hey, I'm going to do a really quick excerpt from one of the workshops, Transitioning into Leadership. Alright, so I'm going to try to have the two thing going on with the screen here so that you can see some of the PowerPoint as well as a page from the workbook. Alright, so the part that we're going to go over is actions that separate leaders. Alright, so the question is, how are you separating yourself as a leader? One of the biggest aha moments that I normally have in a workshop with my participants is when we start talking about leaders and we never mention titles. We never mention the VP, we never mention the CEO, any of the senior leaders, any of that. We only talk about what people do. And that's what I want you to get from this right now. I want you to get and understand that leadership is not a title. Leadership only consists of two things and that is the personal example that you set and the influence that you have over others. Those two combined equal leadership, nothing else. So what are some actions that separate leaders from everyone else? Leaders allow others to take the lead. They aren't afraid to step back and be the follower sometimes. Leaders help team members find value in each other. It's not always apparent what each team member brings to the table, but leaders allow each person to share their gifts, to share their talents, and they make sure that every other person is aware of how each team member uniquely contributes to that team. Leaders empower team members to make decisions. They don't hog all the power. They don't have to be in control of every single thing, especially when it comes to allowing a person to simply do their job. Leaders are empowers. They empower people to be able to do their job, to make decisions, and to take care of their customers and of their part of the business. Leaders find reasons to give praise versus giving criticism. It's easy to criticize. It's easy to point that finger. It's really, really easy to tell a person what they're doing wrong. It's a little more challenging to purposely find things that people are doing right, especially when things aren't going the way that they should in the workplace. It's still important, though, for us to find ways and to find reasons to offer people praise so that they can feel valued in the workplace. Leaders carry the blame, but they share the credit. When something goes wrong, when things go kaput, the leader is the one taking the blame. The leader is the one taking all of the responsibilities. On the other side, when things are going right and people are getting praised, and the team is being recognized, the leader is sharing that praise with the team, they're sharing that credit, and they're letting people know, especially those senior team members, that it was the team who made that accomplishment and not them on their own. Leaders bring order to chaotic situations. They don't run away when things get tough, when things get a little messy. Leaders stand right in the thick of it, and they're able to take control and bring order quickly. Leaders don't micromanage. Nobody likes to be micromanaged. Leaders understand that people need space to be creative. People need space to do their job and they give people that space so that they're able to work more fluently and more effectively. Leaders ask team members for their opinions. They want to know what you're thinking. They want to know what's going on with you. They want to know how you feel. They genuinely care, especially when change is coming down the pipe. Leaders are always, always engaging their team members, asking their opinions, asking how they feel, asking for their possible solution to matters. Leaders find ways to develop others. It doesn't matter what industry you're in. It doesn't matter what department you work in. Leaders are going to find a way to develop you. It doesn't matter where you are, what your tenure is, 
a good leader is going to find a way to ensure that when you come in on a day-to-day -day basis, it's not just a waste of your time, a waste of your life, but that you're actually learning things and that you're actually being productive and you're able to apply those things in some other way within your life. Leaders inspire trust and they don't rely on control. Leaders inspire people to trust them. Leaders inspire people to see their vision, to understand where they're going, and to willingly follow. Leaders don't have to rely on silly tactics such as fear. Leaders teach and learn. When leaders are speaking to others, they're speaking to teach. And when leaders are listening, they're listening to learn. Leaders establish and nurture relationships. Regardless of the company or department, people that come in contact with the leader, nine times out of ten, there's going to be some type of relationship there. And leaders are really, really good at establishing and nurturing those relationships. Leaders implement good ideas regardless of the source. Leaders don't care where it came from. All they care is that it's good, it's effective, and it gets the job done. They're not interested in receiving the praise or the credit or having their ideas always at the forefront. All right, so now that we've had a chance to review some of the actions that separate leaders, I want you to take a second to write down some of the actions that you're doing right now to separate yourself as a leader and then link those to your character traits. All right. If you don't know what your character traits are, if you haven't done your character trait inventory check, please email me. I'll send you the sheet so that you can complete an inventory check on the character traits that you possess as a leader and you'll be able to complete that. All right. So those are just some of the actions that separate you as a leader. All right. There are plenty more that we can go through, but for the sake of time, we're going to cut it right there. But this is why that is so important, because this is you over here, right? This is you. And this is your vision. You're over here with your vision right now. You're just by yourself, regardless of the title, regardless of where you stand right now. It's just you and your vision. Your followers are over here. These are your followers. Your followers have their own vision. They have their own agenda. They can't see you right now. How do you make people see you? Character traits. When you start to exhibit character traits that emulate what inspires people, you open their eyes. They can see you. They connect with those character traits. They can see you. How do you get them over there? That's the example you set. Once you set that example, people will start to follow. And that example was leading to where? to your vision. That example was leading right to your vision. Okay? So, remember, it does not matter what your title is in the organization. I don't care what your title is in the organization. Your employees don't care what your title is. The only thing that your employees care about is the character traits that you exhibit and the example that you set. And at the end of the day, that's the only way to get your followers over to your vision. I hope that that's been helpful. I'm really excited about this workshop. Please, please, please contact me if you have any questions or any follow-up um, feedback or suggestions. I'm really happy to hear from you. All right. Until next time, go out and be awesome.